What's up everybody, it's your man Jay Phil from HowToMakeVerySickBeats.com In this video we're going to show you how to do an easy beat set as long as you have a laptop and a MIDI controller. If you have these two things, you can do this for free. You don't need an SP, just use what you have as long as you have a MIDI controller. So let's get into it. If this is your first time, let me say welcome. If you like beat making videos and things of that nature, please consider subscribing. Check out the links down below. Hit that notify bell so you don't miss anything. And you might wanna watch this whole video. So stick around to the end. Okay, so I get questions all the time. Do I really need a SP404 to do beat sets? The answer is no. As long as you have a MIDI controller, you can do things very similar. I will say this, this is the caveat. You need a MIDI controller that has knobs. If you have knobs and faders, the more knobs and faders, the better. I'm inside my laptop right now, as you can see and I'm using Koala Sampler. And by the way, this is free. This is the desktop app. Again, free! <laughs> so wherever you get your apps, go to your app store. This works for Mac or PC. If you have a PC, write down in the comments below if this works for you, because I'm using a Mac right now. So anyway, after you get your app, download it, all that good stuff, load in some songs, and that's what you see right here. I have two little songs, and I'll just play a snippet of it, of each song. So that's one, and here's another one. Just in case you are interested, these are available on my Bandcamp page. I'll leave a link below. I'm going to go to another page, my performance page. So these are my two sequences. One, two. And so what I did was I mapped out all these controllers. You see all these parameters? You got 16 different parameters. Go to these three lines up here. Click on it, and then you're going to go down to where it says settings. Click that. Then you're going to see settings. Click on where it says MIDI. Now you're going to map MIDI. Bam. Okay, so now whatever controller you're using, you can control what functions affect what. So, <laughs> for example... I'm on my MIDI controller, as you can see, and I already did this, but for example, say I wanted this parameter right here where it says cutter to be on this knob, this knob right here. So I would click on this and then choose whatever thing I wanted to control it. So I just did that. And by the way, you have to hook up your MIDI controller, whatever you're using, into your laptop via a USB cable. Very simple. So now this knob controls that cutter so whenever I move that, it will move the, the cutter parameter. So I have the bottom row controlled by these four knobs. And then I also have the top row controlled by these faders. See that? And I'm going to demonstrate in a second. Also, I have the play button controlled by over here. So you might want to write these down. I didn't. You can write down that no matter what MIDI controller you're using, <laughs> you might have to take notes because you might forget what's what. But I believe I have play on this knob right here and then the two different beats on these knobs. So when I switch beats, I just use my knob to, to control what beat I want to play. So I'm going to demonstrate that real quick. When you're done mapping all the parameters and what have you, hit stop, stop mapping and now I can play a beat. Make sure all your songs are on one shot so it'll play all the way through. Here we go, watch it. Check this out. So it's playing, and I can use my controller. See what I'm doing? So when I want to go to the next beat, I just use my knob to switch it. See that? And again, just use my 
my knobs. Just a simple little tip you could use if you are interested in doing like little beat sets, say you're streaming and you want to do something like that, but you don't have the SP, it's all good. So if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. More videos on the way. Please subscribe. Once again, if you haven't already, it's your man Jay Phil. Check out all the links down below. I will see you guys on the next one. I'm sending peace and positive energy.